Welcome to a three-part tutorial series on tree banking with Arethusa. We will annotate the first sentence of Caesar's second book of the Bello Gallico and in the process of doing this explain most of Arethusa's features. Before I begin, let me hint you at the bottom area of the screen here. Many aspects of Arethusa can be controlled through key bindings such as selecting the next or the previous token. Every time I invoke such a key binding, you will see the bottom area flash up to provide you with some detail on what I just did. I won't explain every available key binding in the process of this tutorial, so if you're interested in a complete list of available hotkeys, click the help button here in the top bar to bring up a panel which holds all available hotkeys. Okay, but let's start doing the morphological annotation first. Arethusa uses the Morpheus morphological parser to retrieve an initial set of possible analyses of a given token. In this case, Morpheus provided us with two possible forms of asset, one form of Edo and one of Sum. Cum asset Caesar in Citriore Gallia in Hibernis ita uti supra demonstravimus means while well, Caesar was in Hither Gaul in winter quarters, as we have shown above. This clearly indicates that this sentence is not about eating and sum is the correct form. It is our job to disambiguate between these possible options provided by Morpheus, so we have to select the plus button here to select the token and in this way doing an action annotation of the sentence. You've seen that immediately as we selected SUM asset flashed up in red. Tokens are given colors according to the part of speech of the, their morphological form. So red in this case indicates that asset is a verb form. At times Morpheus won't provide us with any possible form at all. CUM is such a case already if this happens, we have to create a new form and enter the morphological information by hand. We have to click Save to select the word. Caesar is also a token that is missing. Morpheus doesn't really do very well with proper nouns. Caesar is a noun in singular, masculine, and nominative. In has only one possible form. In is of course the preposition. In many cases Morpheus will have really only one form. In other cases the first form of several might be the right one. Personally I prefer to, to use the preselection feature of Arethusa. If I hit preselect here in the settings panel of the morphology plugin, you see that the whole text flashed up with colors. Because now Arethusa preselected the first available form of the retrieved external morphological passes. This provides me with, with me with immediate feedback. For example, I can see that Gallia, Hibernis and some other words are still black, so this means that most likely, yes, Morpheus didn't provide any analysis at all. But let's continue where we were. Citeriora is adjective, singular, masculine, ablative, comparative is almost correct. It's a feminine because it agrees with Gallia, which is also a feminine in singular and ablative. Nothing to do with in, which is the preposition, and Hibernis showed up empty as well. Hibernis is a little trickier to annotate here. Hibernis could be a form of hibernum, meaning winter, but I think if, if Caesar wanted to tell us that this happened in winter, he would have said in Hiberno and not used the plural here. Hibernis is therefore most likely a nominalized form of the adjective Hibernus with the meaning of winter quarters. Sorry, this is plural of course, 
with the meaning of winter quarters which happens quite frequently in Caesar as well as in other parts of Latin literature. With punctuation there is not really much to annotate but they still re receive a morphological analysis in tree banks. Morpheus did the right thing here the pre-selection of the punctuation can stay. Ita is not a verb, it's the adverb. Uti is a conjunction. Oh, I just noticed that Hibernis is still black. I forgot to hit save here. If we don't save, this won't help us at all. We have to hit save to pre-select or select the form. Okay, back to Supra. Supra is an adverb that is correct. Demonstravimus is also correct. On to the main clause of this sentence. Frequent reports were brought to him and he was also informed by letters of Labienus. Cribri, masculine nominative, is correct. At is correct. Eum is also correct. Rumores, on the other hand, is not accusative. It's the subject to adverbantur. It therefore has to be a nominative. Everything's correct with adverbantur. Que the enclitic has no information at all, so we have to provide this by hand. You see, one of the convenience features Arethusa provides, we have a second que in this sentence. When we annotated the first que with uh, the information that it's a conjunction of que, Arethusa um, used this information and also selected the second que with this form. This is just for convenience reasons. It, it wouldn't overrule your selection. So let's say you had already selected que with something else. Nothing would happen in this case. Literis is also correct. Item is an adverb and not a noun. Labienus is missing. This is Titus Labienus, a noun, singular, masculine. And genitive. Tiatior, adjective, singular masculine, nominative, comparative is correct. But let's stay at this token for a second. Let's pretend for now that Tiatior is not a comparative and really a positive degree. In such a case, we don't have to annotate every possible morphological attribute by hand. If we just have to edit a single attribute we can click on this create new here and thus mirror the form and just change what we have to change. We remove this form because it's clearly wrong and select the right one again. Fiebat is also correct. Omnes belgas quam tertium esse Gallia patim tixeramus contra populum romanum coniorare qui Opsides inter se dare. This is an accusative and infinitive construction. All the Belge who we have said are the third part of Gaul were conspiring against the people of Rome and giving hostages to each other. Belgas is the subject of this accusative and infinitive construction, is a noun, plural, masculine, and an accusative. The same goes for omnes, which is from the adjective omnis, plural, masculine, accusative, and positive degree. Quam was pre-selected correctly, it's the pronoun, tertium is correct, esse is from sum and not from edo, gallia is unfortunately missing again, we have seen before that gallia is a word not known to Morpheus so far, is feminine and genitive in this case. Patem is correct, dixeramus plus quam perfectum is also correct. 
contrast the preposition populum okay populus feminine is not what we want here we can look this up in a dictionary for example I'm not convinced that Caesar is talking about a conspiracy against the Roman poplar trees I think he's talking about the people of Rome we therefore have to select the masculine accusative in this case Romanum another proper adjective in this case which is missing we have to provide manually singular um, masculine accusative positive Conjurare is the predicate of the accusative and infinitive construction we therefore have to select the infinitive Quay we have already seen before Opsides now is a little suspicious Opsides is red this indicates that it is a verb form which is clearly not the case Opsides means hostages from the lemma Opses and is really a noun in plural masculine and accusative as it's the direct object to dare into is the preposition and with C we have many many choices here C has to be an accusative and it's dependent to inter masculine plural this is the form we are looking for dare is an infinitive again everything correct here and the punctuation is correct as well okay we have now annotated the complete morphology of this sentence and can now save our progress saving is done through this button here or through the key binding control shift s document save well this concludes the first part of this tutorial series thanks for watching the next time we will do the fun part of tree banking and create the actual tree itself bye